Hi, welcome to another video. If you know me, then you'll know that I have been an avid chat GPT critic. It's not that they're entirely bad. Well, they are. But that's not the main reason for my dislike. My criticism stems from the fact that despite naming their company OpenAI, they don't release their models as open source, nor do they offer the chat feature for free. Even if I could pay the dollar twenty fee, I wouldn't want to support a company that doesn't align with my values. You might point out that GPT-4.0 is free nowadays, but after sending 10, 20 messages, I get an error saying I'm done for the day, which I don't appreciate. These days, there are a ton of open source models and interfaces that allow you to self-host most of the functionalities quite easily. However, the issue I face with almost all of them is the need for a dedicated endpoint for your models via servers like Olama. Even if some programs allow you to use them without such servers, they often don't provide a web interface. Plus, most interfaces are too clunky with too many options, which I find unappealing. Today, I have something that aims to fix all these problems. Minimal Chat, as the name suggests, is a very minimal chat interface. You just start it, and it can do most of the tasks you want locally. If you prefer, you can also use it with GPT-4.0. It uses WebLLM to install models directly through your browser for inference, which is really cool. Looking at the features, you can see it has a minimal UI, text-to-speech, and speech-to-text options. It supports OpenAI models as well as local models via OpenAI-compatible servers. So, if you use something like Olama, you can use it with minimal chat. I think it should also work with Grok, which I'll try later in the video. It also supports locally loaded browser models, which is really cool. You can switch models mid-conversation, use multiple gestures, and have options to edit, regenerate, and delete responses. You can even use it with DAL E3 for image generation. It can generate images and allows you to upload images if you want to use it with a vision model and chat about images. You can also upload files and PDFs for similar interactions. Overall, it's really cool. I'll be showing you how to use it with OpenAI models, Grok, and local models via WebLLM. Let's get it installed. If you want to use Docker, you can easily run this command and use it. But I won't be doing that because it's too easy. Plus, connecting it with the Olama server sometimes becomes a bit finicky when the service is installed on Linux. Instead, I'll show you the simple way. First, clone this repo on your computer. Once cloned, navigate to the directory you just cloned. Run the npm install command to install the dependencies. Once done, run the npm run build command. This will take a few minutes. After that, run the npm run preview command, and the application should start. Now, head over to the URL or port it shows you, and you should see this screen. As you can see, it's a pretty self-explanatory UI. But let me walk you through the features. On the left, you have the conversation history and a new conversation option. Above that, you have the stored files option, where any files you upload for chatting will be shown. Next, there's the settings option with multiple configurations. In the general config option, you can set up system prompts. In the GPT options, you can set up your API keys to use OpenAI models and set up whisper models for speech-to-speech -speech conversations. You also have the DLE integration option to generate images if you have an OpenAI API key, which is really cool. Next, you have the custom API option where you can set up your custom OpenAI compatible APIs like Olama and Grok. Then, there's the Web GPU option where you can choose a model from a list and it will directly load within your browser for use. 
It's super cool and easy to use. Let me first show you all its features, and then we'll configure the web GPU model. If we come back and I send a message here, you can see the response over here. It's pretty cool. You can regenerate, edit, or delete each response. At the bottom of the screen, where you send messages, there are four options. Upload an image to use the model's vision capabilities. Upload a file like PDFs and Docs to ask the LLM about it. The Send button and the Speech button for hands-free conversation with the model, using speech-to-text and text-to-speech. Now, let's ask it to generate an image. To generate an image, just enter Image, followed by what you want to generate. I'm generating a man standing on a hill, and as you can see, it generated the image here. Looks pretty cool. Next, let's use the vision capabilities to analyze the image. If I send it, you can see it describes the image pretty well. That's also really cool. Now let's upload a PDF and ask about it. I'm adding a public Apple Financial report to the context. When I ask about it, you can see it provides a detailed analysis. Pretty cool. Those were the main features. Now let me show you how to use it with web GPU models. To use them, go to the settings, select the web GPU option, and choose the model you want. You can also see how much VRAM each model requires. I'll be using this tiny llama model. Once selected, go back to the home page, ensure you have selected the web GPU option at the top, and send a message. The first message will take some time initially as it needs to download the model and set it up. But after that, responses will be quicker. It's pretty cool if you don't want the hassle of setting up Olama and similar services. If you want to set up Olama or Groke, go to the custom API endpoint, enter the Groke or Olama endpoint, and add the API key if you're using Groke. Once done, you should be able to use the Groke or Olama models as well. It's really cool. I'm really liking this UI. It has almost all the great features. It's extremely easy to install. And because it's a web interface, you can host it on your machine and access it from your mobile devices since it's also responsive and works well on phones. Overall, it's really cool and just works. I really like this one. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.